They say life is a gamble. And when it came to chasing my dreams, all I've ever known how to do is go all in and try and beat the odds. I set my sights on a career in music. After battling through the lows, I've reached heights in the music business I used to dream of. Along the way, I picked up a hobby that turned into a passion, which led to another dream, winning a World Series of Poker bracelet in Texas Hold'em. Now that live poker is back in casinos, you can follow me on my journey to the top as I try to avoid the bad beats. beats, beats, beats. This week's episode kicks off in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm in the studio at national recording yeah, artist Lenny Cooper, one of his artists, Brian Martin, is singing a song a little deeper that Lenny's going to record for his new album. I'm taking a listen to see what we can do. There you go. There's that one. Put that one. Crack a beat. <laughs> <laughs> Put that on the thing. You like that one? I like it. Definitely getting your ass beat. I've, I've lived in words. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. cool. It sounds like what you said to me, where you was like, "Yeah, people hit, know me for the mud songs, but I want to do something deeper." Yeah. You know what I'm I want to do show yeah. them that I can do more than just the mud songs. You know what I'm saying? Right. So after a long week of work in the studio with my buddy Lenny Cooper, it's time for our weekly Sunday night $5 button cash game. Let's jump right into the hands. First hand I look down at is King Queen Offsuit. I make the call for $10 for middle position. We go four ways to a flop of King Jack 5 Rainbow with 40 in the pot. Player to my right leads out for 20. With top pair, I'm not going anywhere and I make the call for 20 and the player on my left calls as well. When the seven on the turn comes, the player to my right checks. I check to see what the player on my left does. He checks as well. Now I'm feeling really good about my hand. So when the seven of diamond comes on the river and I have two pair, I lead out for 31, check two, and we are good as he shows a weaker king. I should know better than that. <laughs> Next hand, we look down at the beautiful ace queen of hearts. I'm in early position and I lead out for 15. We get two callers in late position and the button folds. So with $50 in the pot, we go to a flop of queen of spades, 10 of spades, five of diamonds. So with two spades on the board, I decide to lead out for 20 for a little bit of protection against a draw. And both players fold. We take down a small pot. So in this next hand, we look down at Queen 10 offsuit, late position, it folds to us, so we open up for 15 and get a call from the button. The flop comes Queen Jack and the deuce of diamonds. Flop and top pair, we lead out here for $15 and we get a quick call from the button. So here's where I felt like I made the mistake in this hand. I should be sizing up here to try and price out a draw or a non-believing jack on the flop who might fold to some aggression here on the turn if uh, I was to bet big. So when the seven of hearts comes on the turn, I check and he checks back. So now the river is a jack. So I decide to check and when he bets $60, Saying he has a jack before he missed his draw. Knowing he's a player capable of bluffing, I decide to make the call and he shows the jack. So like I said, I felt like I misplayed this hand and sizing up on the turn probably gets the job done, but either way, looking down in this next hand, we decide to limp in for five with four six of spades. Flop is money as it comes for a six. We lead out for 10 to protect our bottom two pair, targeting any ace or flush draw. With an eight of diamonds on the turn, seemingly an innocent card, 
we lead out for 20. Here I think we could be sizing up again on the on the turn to get more value out of the draws or an ace. But as played, he calls the 20. And when the four comes on the river, I don't want to check and it check back, so I lead out and he folds. No more action on the boat. So we'll just cut to the chase on this one. I have ace jack suited. I flop trip aces. He turns a straight, and when the king comes on the river, it gives me a straight as well, and we chop the pot. So in this last stand, we look down at king 10 of clubs. We go seven ways to the flop when we all limp in, and I flop two pair. So I lead out for 20 to try to see where I'm at, and I get one caller. So we go to the turn and puts a four liner to the straight on the board. I check and he checks back. The river's no better as it brings in a flush. Now I don't really see what I'm beating. So I'm happy to get the showdown and he shows a weak ace and I take down $75. So overall it was a good night. In for 300, out for 440 for a profit of 140. And the following morning we leave for Las Vegas. What's going on y'all? We are at the South Point Casino. We were checking into our hotel and realized there was a nightly tournament. They're having a poker tournament series here this week. And it's a little $3,000 guarantee. First live tournament 2021. Let's go. So we're gonna break the ice before later this month we start jumping into some bigger ones. So late reg in level four, right before the break. Took down one pot with ace queen, uncontested. Sitting at 10,800 chips. About to be in the big blind when we go back, start at level five. Let's see how it goes. First hand back after break. We're in the big blind, as we said. Pocket jacks, two limpers. Bump it up to 3K, everyone folds. Take down an easy 1200. Now it's like 1100 in the stack. Very next hand, I've ace jack in the small blind. Cutoff makes the 15, I call. Flop comes, king, queen, 10 with one spade. Queen of spades. I check. He bets 2,500. My smooth call. Turn is a king of spades, putting two spades on the board. I check. He bets 3K. I jam it on in there. He only has about 5K behind at that point. He says he can't fold because now he's got a spade draw, five diamonds on the river. We double up. So now we're sitting about 22K. Literally a few hands later, I look down at Queens. This guy that just sat down or got moved to our table, only had about 9K shoves. I have Queens, I reshove. He flips over the Kings, we lose. Another hand, I forget what it was. Lose another small amount, get moved, ace eight in the hijack, a couple limpers, a raise. Too much money in there with like 6K with ace, eight of hearts. Everyone folds one caller, he has jack nine and spikes a jack on the turn and we are out. So I'm in Vegas, so of course I'm gonna play a few hands of poker, but I'm here to make music. What's going on y'all? We out here in Vegas, working on the Homie Fates album with my good buddy and partner oh, in crime, Romy Rowe. I'm blessed to be doing what I love and for the next few days I'll be working with my homie Fate who's working with Ivan Moody from Five Finger Death Punch and we're creating some really good music. Make, making a motherfucking slapper and doing push-ups. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to go, I'm chomping at the bit.
So before I left, I got one last session in at the win. I didn't blog it. Just wanted to focus on playing cash. I was in for 200, out for five and some change. Overall, great trip, and I can't wait till y'all see what we came up with. 